please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. What's up, YouTube? Franchise Sports TV. Back again with another video. I don't know why I did that. But anyways, some of you guys might have seen this the other day. I posted it. I, I will continue to keep posting what LeBron said about Bronny James that happened out in Mar was it March 6, 2023. When he's sitting on Twitter talking about um, watching these cats. Oh, sorry. Watching these guys on live. And Bronny is better than half of these cats. Uh, this is stuff is dead hilarious or whatever he said. Uh, I'm going to keep posting that because some of you stands out there don't get the reason why every time Bronny James sets foot on the court and stinks it up. Some of you don't get why I continue to keep going at him. And it's not so much about him. It's nothing on the kid at all. It really isn't. Kid has done nothing wrong. But the reason why I'm doing this is to prove a point. I think the reason why some of us is doing this is because to prove a point. Because it's not so much Bronny. It's not Bronny. I got nothing against the kid. Seems like a good kid. It's his damn daddy that just does not know how to shut his mouth and be quiet. And now I'm starting to see excuses when I posted that on Monday. I'm starting to see the excuses. <laughs> well, maybe he wasn't talking about he, he, he wasn't talking about the league. Maybe he was talking about a different league. Oh, oh you can't put that on, Bronny. This is remember this is post. I mean, in pre 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 uh 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 pre pre uh his before his heart. Uh, yeah yeah his heart his heart yeah remember his heart his heart failed him. Remember that this is before that. Yeah yeah remember no no no. Mm -mm. we're not using all that we're not going there because even if he had a, i mean even if he well he does he had the heart element if he was that great the heart element that he had would not set him backwards at all no it would not that tells me he was never good enough in the first place and the fact that he said half the players that was playing on that night, and now they trying, and now some of these stands are trying to change it. Oh, he wasn't talking about the super. He's not even on some of these <clears throat> lesser known players, the bench players. He's not on that level. He does not belong in the NBA. We've seen what he did in the G League so far. He's not NBA material. You can't keep moving the goalposts to make LeBron look better. No more excuses. Stop with the excuses. The kid is not great enough to be in the league. He's not a professional basketball player. He's just not. And I, I keep hearing people talk about, when has the 55th pick ever been that great? No, 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 no. We're not playing that game. Because that, what was his name? Quincy Olivari is way better than Bronny. And he wasn't drafted. And he has to go play in the G League while Bronny gets a four year contract guaranteed, you damn knuckleheads. Why don't you get that? The excuses I keep seeing every day, they're getting worse and worse and worse. And they don't make any sense. And they sound stupid every time I keep seeing them. Take the L and go home. Your king queen should have never opened his mouth because he's not humble. He should just shut the hell up. I don't see, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't see Carlos Boozer going out there talking about his son. And as much as I don't like that freaking scallywag Gilbert Arenas, I don't see him doing that either about his son. And their son is supposed to be great. Better than Bronny. But we don't hear them bragging about him. 
And Gilbert Arenas, you silly ass. Anyways, stop myself. Silly Gilly. LeBron, LeBron used to work as aggressiveness. He's not great. He's shooting. What was he shooting in the preseason? Like 14%. And what is he shooting now? 16, uh, 14, 60%. He's not shooting great at all from anywhere. Hasn't even made a three in the games he has played. Yes, he does show a little bit of hustleness, but he's not NBA material. Anybody go out there and show a little bit of hustleness. I can do that. That's easy. That's real easy to do. And there's another thing I keep seeing. But shout out to Angry Hoops fan. I saw his little video about this. And people forget them. People probably have, might have mentioned it. But also at the same damn time, we keep hearing, oh, he's only a kid. He's only a kid. He's only a kid. He's only a kid. He's only 20. He's only 19. Well, the last time I checked, he had a birthday on October 6th or something like that. Uh, so he's 20 years old. He just turned 20 a month ago. So that's a man the last time I checked. And also, there was Magic Johnson winning a championship, leading the Lakers at age 20. There was Michael Jordan winning an NCAA championship game with North Carolina at 19, going to the Olympics and winning Olympic gold at 19, leading the scores at 19. So, mm mm-mm. No, sorry. Uh Uh-uh. No, this kid just does not have it. He doesn't have it. I'm sorry. And I know this is a a different sport and all, but what's the wide receiver on Alabama right now? The one that's like 17 years old. He's out there looking like he's been in the league. (laughs) He out there looking like he should be in the league right now. So we can't keep basing this on age all the time. He's just not ready. He's not ready. Sorry, LeBron fans, LeStans. He's not ready. All these damn excuses. Where till he develops? Well, he's only got so many years to develop before they say he's just not going to be there. The whole comparison to Drew Holiday. Yeah, right. Patrick Bev. Yeah, right. Not even Pat, He's not even on Patrick Bev's level. And if Patrick, him and Patrick Bev play one-on-one, Patrick Bev will freaking cook Bronny. Nine out of nine times they play. Ten out of ten times they play, I should say. So, truth hurts, they say. Yeah, it hurts when you don't want to face the truth. And when reality becomes, you know, reality. None of this fictional stuff anymore. None of this well wishes that he'll become. I don't know what people think he's going to become. So if you can't, if you can't go to the G League and cook up in the G League like Quincy Olivari did, then sorry. From what the way I look at it, for him, and I think this goes for anybody who's not on the NBA level, the pace is just too fast. The pace is just too fast. I'm not even lying. The pace is just way too fast. Uh, I know when I was younger, one of my first times I went to go play at college, was a college scrimmage or something like that, many years ago, and shoot, that pace, man, pace is fast, everybody's thinking fast, everybody's reacting fast, and it took me a while to get used to that, and I'm still not really used, to, eh, I got somewhat used to it, but I'm probably not used to it anymore because I don't ain't playing on the college level like that anymore. But um, the NBA pace is way quicker than the college pace. It's more as much as they go out there j- jack up a whole bunch of threes. You had to be quick on your heels all the time, and I see with that with Bronny. And I know if I went out there, I'd be lost. <laughs> and that's what he looks like out there, lost. But anyways. 
the stands probably won't get that because they don't play damn basketball on nothing but the game other than LeBron James. So there's that. But tell me what you guys think.